All right, so round two. I had just filmed this video and when I went to check on it, I realized I hadn't pressed play. So <laughs> welcome to story time. So hello everybody. I hope this second time around my video is going to be actually even better than the first time. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling you guys my story on how I found out I was pregnant or rather say how me and my husband found out we were pregnant. I have a few notes here, but before I actually get started, I'm Bea, I'm 26 years old. This is my first baby, I'm a first time mom. So I'm 39 weeks and one day pregnant. I'm actually gonna be giving birth um, in two days, not even like less than 48 hours, because I'm gonna be induced. Like, look at it, you know, like, it's just humongous uh, and it's, uh, really heavy already i'm not gonna bubble anymore i'm gonna go straight into story time and tell you how me and my husband found out we were pregnant so we actually didn't know i was pregnant or at least i had no idea i was pregnant for the first six weeks of my pregnancy so a month and a half i have a few notes here so if you see me glance down that's why so i didn't know i was pregnant but i did uh have a few symptoms here and there. So first of all, my period was late. You're probably thinking like, what the hell? Like if your period is late, the first thing you do is take a pregnancy test. But in my defense, I had some hormonal imbalances that were messing up my period schedule. So for the past three months or four months, I was having like really irregular periods. So I didn't think that was anything to really like be concerned about. My period is late, but like it's been going on for like a few months already. So I'm not gonna give it too much thought, you know? Plus I was having period cramps. So I was like, it's just right around the corner. I'm gonna get my period soon. Plus my boobs were like starting to hurt. And I was like, see, like my period is probably just right around the corner because like period cramps, boob pain. To me, it's signal period coming soon, you know, but it can also signal pregnancy. So if you're feeling these symptoms, go check it out, make sure. I've also always thought I was gonna have problems conceiving once I decided it was the right time. So I always thought I was gonna have problems with fertility and that's not something that any doctor has told me. It's just a feeling that I had deep down. I even told my husband. Then I also started to feel like headaches, like really bad headaches. I started to feel like warm. I usually am the kind of person that feels cold all the time with just always have to wear socks, whether it's summer or winter, but that soon changed. Like I was having like huge headaches. I was being like, like really hot all the time. I felt like a furnace. It was horrible. Even my husband was like, I can't even touch you. You're like burning up, but like you don't have a fever. So I don't understand. I thought I was having like Corona symptoms. So after having all of these symptoms, maybe for like two weeks, my husband started to get suspicious. And he was like, are you sure you're not pregnant? Do you get your period yet? Like he was like, hmm, I think you might be pregnant. I think we should make sure. And I was like, eh. Like, there's no point, like, I'm not pregnant, so, like, why waste the money, I guess, on a pregnancy test? Pretty stupid of my part, I know, and pretty responsible, to be honest. Like, I am aware. So, um, one day, my husband, like, it was a Saturday, I believe, he woke up, he wanted to play his video games, you know, relax from a week of, like, working and all that stuff. So I was still sleeping and then he comes in the room and he's like, okay, I can't even focus. Like I can't even enjoy my video games right now because I just keep thinking of like the fact that you might be pregnant and not knowing is killing me. So I'm gonna actually go to the pharmacy and buy a pregnancy test so that you can take it. And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Just let me sleep, you know, I'm really tired. <laughs> like do what you have to do just let me sleep so he went to the pharmacy got a pregnancy test and he actually got two different brands just in case so when i woke up uh he told me like the first pee of the day you have to use it for the pregnancy test so i was like okay sure i have to pee right away he gave me the pregnancy test so i went to the bathroom pee on the stick and i didn't even have the time to put it down while I was putting it down, it was still in my hand and I could already see that it was positive. Like it went like in five seconds, gave me the results. And I was like, what the hell? 
I didn't know if I was feeling scared, excited. To me, it was, it's, it was such an unexplainable feeling. I've always thought I wasn't gonna be able to really have children. So um, I stayed in the bathroom for like maybe not even five minutes. And when I came out, <laughs> I see my husband is like not at the door, but like waiting in the hallway. And I see him and he's like, so? And I'm like, it's positive. And he's like, it is. At first it was, he seemed a little scared and I understand why, you know, he had been looking for a job for like a long, long time. He finally found one that he thought uh, was going to be like perfect for him, but he was, he had just started, like it had been like a, a week since he started working with that company. So he was like a little nervous so that they would like, for some reason, give him any problems with like his soon to be wife being pregnant but honestly they've been nothing but amazing with us they've made our lives so much easier they're so flexible they honestly could not be better than they are so they've made this really easy for us because my husband Ismail he was worried uh the fact that he, we were just like putting our lives together in terms of I mean financially I'm not gonna bubble about it but he was nervous you know like once uh he saw that I was actually really excited because then I was like it's positive like it's positive we're gonna have a baby like we've always wanted to really have a baby together i'm white he's black so like we've always wondered what our kids would look like of course but anyways yeah so my husband was the one that pretty much suspected this the whole time <laughs> so also one thing that happened that same day like not even an hour after i took the pregnancy test and it came out positive i went back to the bathroom because i had to pee and when I wiped, I wiped blood. It was kind of like a period. So I was like, what? Like, did I get, did I just get my period? I don't, like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I just had a, pre a positive pregnancy test. So how am I getting my period, you know? Uh, so I went ahead and took the second pregnancy test that my, that my husband bought. Again, positive. Didn't even take like 10 seconds to show me that it was positive. So I was like, so I am pregnant. So why am I bleeding? Like, if I hadn't taken that pregnancy, that first pregnancy test and I had seen blood before I took the pregnancy test, I would have thought it was my period and I would have been like, see, I'm not pregnant. Like, you shouldn't have bought this pregnancy test. You know, I just got my period because that's what it looked like. Like, <laughs> I just took a pregnancy test, came out positive and now I'm getting my period. But I looked it up and it was not a period. It's from the embryo attaching to the utero uterus wall don't quote me on that exactly look it up if you want you know bleeding throughout the first to third trimester what does it mean and you'll see the answers as i was saying i was scared that i was bleeding i just found that i was pregnant i was excited about being pregnant and now i was bleeding like but then we found out it was something that can happen you know like i called my gynecologist told her that i thought i was pregnant at least that's what two pregnancy tests said so i would like to book an appointment to see her and like see what's going on basically so she gave me an appointment for the week after to have the first ultrasound because based on the date of my last period that i told her she was like so you're still like six weeks pregnant and at seven weeks is the best time to do a first ultrasound so come go ahead and come next week so i did i know like you're probably thinking like if you bled you should have gone but I was not in Spain, I was actually in France. My husband is from France and we were spending like a few weeks there. So I couldn't like just pack and go to my gynecologist because she's in Spain. She did the ultrasound, we saw baby boy peanut <laughs> size. It was quite surreal to be honest. Uh, we heard his heartbeat for the first time and she told me everything was great. I mean, that's pretty much the story of how my husband and I found out we were pregnant how my husband suspected I was pregnant and found out for me almost, you know? I feel like most of the time is the woman that has like a sense, you know, like senses that something is changing in her body. And I was honestly neglecting every symptom that I have, justifying it somehow, you know, like, I feel like I could have gone even longer without knowing if it wasn't for my husband. So I feel kind of like bad, honestly, like I feel like it was a bit irresponsible and I should have, read myself a little better but that just goes to show how well we know each other you know like we support each other in that way as well we complement each other my husband and i 
and like together we're just better <laughs> we've actually been together for eight years we're having our first child now we recently got married like september and so yeah i mean that's pretty much for this video i have nothing else to add i feel like i've gone into pretty much a lot of detail on how i found out i was pregnant i hope i didn't go into too much detail that i bored you though but enough so that you could enjoy the story. All right, so I had to move a little bit, so hopefully the frame hasn't changed too much and you can still see me properly. But that's pretty much it on how I found out I was pregnant or how my husband and I found out we were pregnant. If you like the story and uh, you enjoyed the video in general, please don't forget to like the to click the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So other than that, thank you so much for watching again and wish me luck for Wednesday when I'm going to be induced. And thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.